Well, what is up everybody? It's Life's Apprentice. Welcome back to another one. We're gonna be out uh, plowing some snow today. We got a big snowstorm coming through. This is just the beginning of it. It's gonna snow for about the next 24 hours. We got our first couple inches here, pretty light. Um, we're gonna run through the accounts, open them all up, and uh, probably by the time we get through the first accounts, it's gonna be snowing again. And they're calling for another six to 10 inches, so. Gonna be plowing today with the 2019 Ford F-250, 6.2 liter, and uh, got a Boss DXT 9 foot 2 V plow. So we're at a gas station here, we're gonna get this plowed out and uh, move on through the accounts. Here we go. Well, the first account we were just at is my furthest south account, and now I'm at. Uh, not my furthest north, but definitely farther north. And they were saying north was gonna get more snow. I'm not really seeing it, it's about the same. There's maybe two or three inches. It's kind of hard to tell it's light snow. It's blowing around a little bit. But it's a weekday, it's Wednesday morning. It's about 4.30 right now. We started at about three. And uh, just cleaning some little, I'm cleaning a little lot here that opens at, I think, 5.30. And uh, trying to get a couple of the businesses opened up so that they can operate today. I know some schools close school for the next couple of days. I didn't hear that uh, my kid's school was closed today, but... If they close school for this, man, people are getting soft. It's crazy, when I was a kid, we had to get like a foot of snow to have a snow day. And now, or if it was cold, like if it was 40 below zero, wind chills and stuff. But nowadays, man, I don't know. The kids have had a couple snow days this year where it's like, are you kidding me? The whole COVID thing and people suing and the whole world just turned into a bunch of uh, sissies. But yeah, this one's just a nice little lot. I've been doing this one for a long time. I want to say it's my 10th time doing all of my accounts. I have some that are a little bit more picky that I've done more times, but it's February 22nd, I think. And we've had 10 full goes of an inch or more. I can't complain. This looks like this should be at least a two banger. So we should get through all the accounts this morning. And based on the snow, I'm seeing nice, light, fluffy stuff. This is gonna be a easy little money maker. The next stuff sounds a little bit worse, more ice and uh, ice and heavier snow maybe. We'll see if it actually is, but I cut back on snow big time. Um, a couple years ago and I really like it I got it down where on a snow like this by myself I can run through all of my accounts in about seven hours anywhere from six to eight and I really like that um, especially if we get a snow like this one's supposed to be um, where I'm gonna be possibly you know not sleeping much for a couple days all right well this one One more push here, and we are done. Easy peasy. On to the next one. Pretty nice account. I'm trying to get all these done before traffic gets busy. These are on, you know, more busy main roads. I like trying to get these done so I don't have to plow them when people are driving all over the place because sometimes they take you half, twice as long just because you gotta wait. Wait for everybody to back out onto these roads. This one goes all the way to the next road. The next road isn't busy, this road is, but I got two entrances on this road and a big entrance on the other road. 
Not to mention when they're open, I'll probably have to plow it when they're open later today, but um, when they're open, you got delivery vehicles and employees and customers and all that stuff. So if you guys plow snow, you know what I'm talking about. And we're plowing the sidewalk. Nothing more satisfying as a plow driver than driving right down the sidewalk. Oh, see there, I already have a delivery via, uh, van delivering parts up there. Hopefully, they move. All right, I cannot see the curb. Where is it? Found it. Try to push this snow pile back. The last couple snows, we've had such a mild winter here, and it really, I mean, we've had a lot of snow, but it just hasn't been cold. And the grass has been so soft every single time I plow, it's ridiculous. And so I really, the last couple snows, I was unable to push the snow back where I wanted, and if we get as much as they're saying, I'm gonna need room. I'm trying to push some of them back now. It's not warm. I mean, it's been in the 40s and, you know, I think it's like 20 some degrees right now. So it hasn't been cold at all. But now if we end up getting a, another eight inches or whatever they're saying, we are gonna need room for snow. This is the kind of lots I want. I don't advertise for snow, but I would love to have about five more lots like this even 10 I'll take 10 of them all right well we knocked out uh, the automotive place there and we knocked out a couple of residentials most of my residentials are like this one here um, where when I say I only have four residentials, I only have four residentials that I cannot plow the driveways. And I really, I can plow the driveways, just not effectively, I guess. Um, but then I have a bunch of lake houses. This one's on the river here and kind of country style driveways where they don't have sidewalks. And I have lots of room, like this one I can plow snow pretty much wherever. I got lots of room. I knocked out a couple of these. And then most of my other ones are just small apartment buildings. Then I do some, uh, I don't know, I got like one county contract. I, it's for a bunch of wellheads. And the reason I do it is because the county trucks, they don't have trucks, small trucks that can get into the tight spots. But this one, we're getting her done. I did just go to my farthest west account and they probably did have like five inches out there. It seems like most of the snow, the heaviest snow stayed west but it's nice and light, so I don't really care. If this was heavy stuff, it would suck. I'm having an issue with my plow. I don't know, I got a loose connection or something. Every once in a while, I got a, it, it stops working on me. My turn signal went out. I haven't really looked into it, but my left blinker went out. It's working on the truck but it's not working on 
not working on the plow and then I have some sort of a loose connection because every once in a while I got to get out and wiggle the harness oh yeah yeah I know I got to go out and wiggle the harness to get the plow to go up and down so I don't know what's going on there I don't really have time to mess with it and it hasn't been too bad I've only had to do it I think maybe three times I I noticed it this morning right away before I even left the house that it did it but I didn't really think anything of it and now it's done it a couple other times so I don't know I, I pulled the harness apart and everything looks fine none of the pins are broken nothing like that and I know those harnesses are really expensive to replace because I broke one one time and I know they are not cheap so I guess we'll see. I don't know what the deal is. All right, here's one of my doubles. I gotta do this house right here, and this house right here, and that's the main reason I kept them. They're good long time customers, always pay, and they're right next door, so I get to do a two for one. Cause that's a lot of the time, if you're doing residential and they're spread out, most of your time is spent driving. To snow blow one of these by myself, takes 10 minutes tops but if you if you're doing these spread out across town and stuff you might be able to do three or four an hour if you have them all lined up like this you can do a crap load very fast so we're gonna knock these out should take about 10 15 minutes <laughs> Turn the camera on but just finishing up this little apartment building here i wanted to mention one thing got uh got these high c boots as a sponsor for the channel this year and uh, i absolutely love them i'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring the channel i've worn a lot of different types of boots knee boots in particular these are some of the most comfortable and lightweight warm um, boots that i've ever worn i've been wearing them for a few months now and just the other day I was out shed hunting and I did 16 miles in these boots through all sorts of terrain. I absolutely love them. Um, there's a link down in the description with a promo code you guys can use to save on any high C product. Um, they make all different types of boots and waders and uh, go check them out. 
Well, we're done with this one. I think we got a couple more and uh, we're gonna get to those now. But that's the end of the video. I got a couple more residentials to do and a couple small apartments to do. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like content like this, um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.